Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast for Need You Now, Part 1. Tonight's big plot was Eli and Imogen. The episode started off with Imogen taking pictures of Eli as he sleeps. Uh, Imogen back in her Imogen ways, I guess, is the only way to describe it. I liked how she left with the by golds were these, you know, didn't address Eli by name. Just something quirky and you know, more Imogen-like than what we've seen in the past couple of episodes. I think I might be on the outside with this, but Eli's dad kind of annoys me, Bullfrog. I don't know, there's something about him that just, like, does not sit right with me. I don't know, I don't even know what exactly it is. I'm just not the biggest fan of him. Fiona and Eli, once again, I've said this multiple times now, I love them together. You know, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just... When you see them together on screen, you just know you're watching something good. You know, they're both uh, great actors, Annie and Monroe. Together, they just, they play so well off of each other. You know, it's not even necessarily that something big is happening in the scene. It's just, you know, the way they work together is, is something that, you know, not a lot of characters in the show necessarily have, and not even a lot of shows have. Just, you know, two good characters together really you know, getting the point or whatever they're trying to, you know, do, just getting it across to the viewer. And uh, Fiona and Eli are great characters, and they do great at it. As for the art project, it actually looked really cool. The plot overall just seemed not that interesting to me. You know, I don't know. I mean, he broke the camera. The first thing I thought of was Craig. Yeah, I mean, other little things. We had Adam. He was finally, you know, in this episode for a, for a moment, so that was great to see. Still waiting for Bianca, though. You know, we got to see Imogen's dad and her dog. It's also really funny because her dad is so different than Imogen, you know, he said, like, cellular phone instead of cell phone, and you could tell he seemed, his whole mannerisms and everything just seemed so drastically different from Imogen, you know, one wonders why Imogen is the way she is, and, you know, why her dad is the way that he is as well. Imogen had a great line tonight with the Triple H, homework, hot bath, and Harry Potter, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Casey going to Ty's, uh, christening, or as we now should address him as Doug, I, you know, I do like this storyline, um, I enjoyed Casey in this episode, I like him acting that way, you know, it's nice to see the emotions that he still has towards the baby, and you can tell Jenna, I mean, does she really not care, does she just want, you know, to be in a relationship with Jake, is it a little bit of both? I mean, I don't really know what exactly she's trying to go for. It's, it is nice seeing, you know, the callbacks and the references and just seeing Casey actually go to the christening and just, you know, him re- getting the books out because he wants to learn, you know, methods about what to do when he's around uh, Doug. You know, it, it was a really well done part of the episode. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And we had a little bit of Connor in this episode. The uh, the working on jokes and stuff. And yeah, him and KC have some good chemistry as well. Finally, we had Tori. I really have no words for this. I mean, honestly, I did not like it one bit. I think it's stupid. I think all the Niners are pretty annoying. And I really don't care for any of them. The only thing of note that I have for this was at the practice when she was doing their routine. And the song was saying something like, I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous. And I kept thinking of Manny from the infamous season five episode, Venus. I kept thinking, you know, it's so funny that Tori's taking in the footsteps steps that Manny did so you know like I said the Niners right now just not that interesting to me the only one that I even still like is Maya and of course they it's all about Tori and Zig and Tristan and all them right now Maya is the only one that I've that I've really liked so far so hopefully she'll have another plot coming up soon and then the preview for next week now apparently Jake and Imogen might be getting together Eli's finding out something shocking you know with the promos you never really know what is happening because you you know, is Team Nick trying to mislead like they normally do? You know, so many questions, so many things to find out. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Leave me some comments on the YouTube page. Let me know what you thought of this podcast, of the episode, any questions, concerns. Just post it, and I will try and reply. I'll talk to you all soon.